What, what is, is up, up Halo Army? Army? It's your boy Milo. It's the girl Hazel. What's up you guys? How have you been? I know you guys have been extremely, extremely worried about us and we really wanted to sit down and make this video just to explain the sudden disappearance. Uh, it's not really my story to tell so I'll let you start explaining. You know what I mean? I'll let you take over the video. I'll be here to co-sign. And... So basically the reason why we've been gone for a while is because about a week and a half ago, I had to go get surgery and I've been recovering. <sighs> Recovery has been kind of hard. Yeah. I mean, the first time I got ready was like yesterday for your mom's birthday. Yeah. That was like the first time I've gotten ready. And Didn't like you the first time you've got out of bed. Yeah, we had to go do that. And then like I said, I've just been recovering. I was actually debating if we should film going to get the surgery like the whole process of everything we even like brought our camera like we brought everything because it was a possibility you know he was like it's up to you we could film if you want to i just don't like talking about me you know what i'm saying like i'm just like that type of person i don't want people Bro, to feel you bad know for you me you can though you can i, I know but it just I don't know. Like, I don't I've, think anyone will feel bad for you. I think it'll just be that extra level of support. I feel like it'll be more so people supporting you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I just like I've always been like that. Like I just don't like talking about things. So for me to like open up about something so personal, that's really a big deal for me. I guess I just decided to let you guys know what was going on because a lot of you guys were asking questions because I was posting some things on my Instagram, like what my mom set up for me when I got home, yeah. and you guys were like asking. Like, well soon. what's wrong with you you know and i'm okay you know i'm fine but i went and got surgery i went to see a gynecologist and he specializes in removing these type of cyst i had a cyst and I also have an ovarian cyst as well. I found out a couple months ago when I went to the hospital for something completely different. I just have a lot of things going on in my body that's just like annoying, you know? So I went to see this gynecologist and the reason why I went to him was because he's the only one who specializes in removing it in a way where it won't come back. Honestly, it was the worst experience ever i was so upset and like even now like i'm still upset when i think about everything <sighs> so it was really quick how i saw it being done you get put to sleep for it that wasn't an option for me he just said i'm gonna numb you which did not work i literally felt everything like the entire procedure i felt everything I was literally shaking, sobbing, crying, like in so much pain. Like I literally felt like I was gonna pass out. I'm getting like upset. Just breathe for a second, baby. <clears throat> It just makes me really upset. I hear so many stories from like women who go to the gynecologist. Basically, I just feel like our pain gets dismissed. So I felt like uncared for basically. Like, I don't know why I'm like crying. It's okay, baby. I'm so sorry. It's okay, baby. Just take your time, okay? I didn't like the guy, the doctor. Was it just like the energy? Yeah, or? everything felt really rushed. He was just there to like do whatever, which is fine, you know, do your job. But I just didn't like the vibes. You know, I chose to go to him because this is my health. You know, I wanted to go to the best. It was like literally traumatizing the amount of pain. I, I literally felt like I was gonna pass out. That was like my first time ever even going to like a gynecologist or anything. And I know like when you're 21, you're supposed to go get um, a pap smear. And I've been like terrified to go to the gynecologist because I hear stories like this like and what's funny is Milo even told me he's like oh you know maybe you should reach out to the doctor through your Instagram just so that possibly he could treat you better which is messed up you know it's what? actually weird how real that is I was like no like what the heck I was like I'm just gonna email the I'll call the office set up the appointment I didn't even speak to the doctor doctor I just spoke to the front desk and set up the appointment I feel like it's just so sad to say like I shouldn't have to do that I shouldn't have to reach out to people through my Instagram for them to treat me right. The whole experience was just like horrible. <sighs> so yeah, I just basically had a really bad experience my first time at the gynecologist. And I was so nervous already about doing the surgery because like I was crying for like the whole week before my appointment because you know, I just overthink a lot. I always think the worst with things and with the type of cyst I had, it could have been cancerous and it could could have spread you know of course me just being how i am i was just overthinking and i was like so scared already so it's like that just like makes it worse you know what i'm saying like as soon as i came downstairs she out of the office i was just like crying to him i guess due to like COVID, like visitors couldn't even be up there so i had to sit downstairs in the um 
lobby. So I was just waiting on her the whole time. And she just literally walked downstairs and just broke down. I didn't know what was going on. I don't know why I'm crying so much. When I told my mom everything, she was so mad. She was like, oh my God, I'm so upset. And I feel like, I was like, mom, no, it's okay. It's not a big deal. And I kept saying that, you know? And I feel like why I'm crying so much now is because like, I'm finally talking about it. And like, I'm actually allowing myself to like, remember everything. Because mm -hmm. I kept trying to like, brush it off. Like whatever, like it wasn't a big deal, but it, you know, it is a big deal. <sighs> Clearly it was like really traumatizing for me, you know? So now I'm like really scared to go see the gynecologist again, which I'm going to have to because, you know, I, I like I said, I have another cyst on my ovaries that is really big and it could rupture and then like, you know, just a whole bunch. That's a whole nother thing. And then to make everything worse, recovery is six weeks. <laughs> it's a very long recovery. I was extremely swollen. I have stitches. I could feel my stitches now every time I walk. It's really painful to sit down. It's just been really hard. We could come back to this if you want to. Jesus, I'm so sorry, babe. It's okay, baby. This whole video is gonna be like me with tears in my eyes. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I've been in so much pain, guys. What they were supposed to prescribe me was strong pain medicines like tramadol or toradol that those were like the main two that they said that they used and i'm allergic to both um i'm allergic to a lot of strong pain medicines i found out the hard way <laughs> they just prescribed me ibuprofen that's it since day one it didn't help with anything yeah. so i've just been extremely uncomfortable and in a lot of pain the yeah, recovery's definitely been difficult for her she's been <laughs> struggling it's like she can't even sit down she can't stand pretty much all she can do is lay down anything else is uncomfortable it's like i can feel like my stitches yeah. rubbing together it's like on the inside of my vagina yeah, yeah just nothing's been working so I, this recovery has been extremely hard you know i just want to feel normal already so yeah, you guys, it's, it's just, you know, it's just, it's very clear that it's extremely difficult for her. Like I said, she can only lay down, she can't walk, she can't sit, she can't stand. She be trying to walk up the stairs. She actually succeeded a few times, but she's not supposed to do that. Can't bend down, can't pick anything up, can't lift anything more than 10 pounds. 10 pounds is like a book. <laughs> it's just been difficult for her. I've just been like so bored. Like yesterday was his mom's birthday. So that was the first time I went out and got ready. And oh my God, like, uh, and it, it wasn't even, we weren't even doing anything like. no. We literally you know, just, just standing around the kitchen yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's just been like extremely hard. But I'm glad that I got that taken care of and out of my body and I don't have to, you know, yeah. worry about that. But I am proud of myself for getting that taken care of, you know, because I was really scared for a long time and I was just, you know, acting like I was okay and, you know, ignoring it. But I had to get it taken care of and um glad that I did even though it was a horrible experience um that's one less thing I gotta worry about with my health I mean they said after three weeks you can start back trying to like get back active and mobile yeah so that's what we're looking forward to we only got like pretty much a week and three days left be hopeful okay baby yeah oh my god I don't even know if I like want to put this out there because I've cried so much in this video and it's like so uncomfortable for me I think I'm just like super emotional because I just feel like there's always something wrong with me you know I have like a lot of health problems and I feel like it started at a really young age so it's just annoying you know feeling like your body's like always trying to go against you and i'm just like tired of like dealing with things like this um but i just try to stay positive you know <laughs> after all this crying <laughs> um i'm just trying to stay positive you know as scary as it can be i still encourage all my ladies out there to go get checked yes you know what i'm saying go get your pap smears go to the gynecologist i know it's scary and you have to do what's best for your health um mm -hmm. i also just want to say it guys milo has been so amazing throughout this whole process like he's been there for me waiting on me hand and foot he's literally been so amazing after my surgery we had to stay in the hotel for like three days and i couldn't do anything you know so <laughs> i was stuck in the bed literally for three days in a hotel could not leave the hotel could not do anything we were just in the hotel for three days laying down and he stood there with me you know he was bored out of his mind he loves like being occupied it wasn't i hard. was already like losing my mind in that hotel i was like oh my god i just can't wait to go home oh, that plane ride oh my god <laughs> i'm not even gonna get into that just know fresh after surgery i had to sit on that hard plane seat y'all like Bro, I was, they had no 
no good upgrades, bro. It was the Dead. worst flight. It was a five hour flight. It was, I was in so much pain. It was horrible. And for me sitting on my incision for five hours on a hard seat, I was literally bleeding so much, guys. I bled through my pants. The it whole was, thing was it just was horrible. bad, bro. We tried so hard to get better tickets. It was it was bad. They didn't. Have, I tried to buy a pillow. They didn't have pillows. Yeah, like something <laughs> to cushion. Like it, it was yeah, just horrible. It was, it was bad. But my baby was so amazing to me, and I just kept telling him like, babe, I appreciate you so much. Like, thank you so much because he's literally been my caretaker. I, you know, I just want to say I appreciate you again. Uh -huh. I love you, baby. I love you too. But yeah, we just wanted to update you guys and you know open up a little bit and tell you guys you know like basically why we've been MIA I've been recovering but yeah for the most part like she's been on bed rest her first time getting up was like yesterday but it feels good to put on some makeup and look cute <laughs> we're probably about to get ready and go take a shower probably just lay down and watch TV or something just chill I miss y'all though, man. I know my baby miss y'all because she tell me every single day. <laughs> we really miss y'all, man. I wanna, I'm ready to get back to creating content. Yeah, I miss <laughs> sitting in front of the camera. Yeah. Uh, we wanna say thank you to our friends that has been there for her. Uh, we love you guys for being here for her. We wanna thank you guys in advance for your um, well wishes. And yeah, we love y'all so much. I love y'all. I know my baby loves y'all because she tells me every single day. But as always, remember having added lit opportunity. So keep your hand up and, and keep your head Said I shouldn't feel how I feel about you They said I shouldn't wanna be around you They said we shouldn't be together But when it lasts forever, look baby, that's cap Cause I'm only about you You used to call me on that cell phone Telling me what you've been through Told me you can't wait no longer You even had this certain ringtone Every time it rained, all I knew it was you by the song, girl Now everything is different, I didn't wanna see us Why, but girl, we are